Hi guys, it's Santiago here. I am at Southwest Minnesota State University in Marshall, Minnesota, where I graduated from college three years ago. Today I am joined by SMSU computer science major and my good friend Victor Adewale, who is actually behind the cameras. Victor, come out and say hi to everyone for us. Hello everyone, how you doing? Thank you, Victor, for shooting this video. So this is, again, installment number three in my Russia 2018 World Cup video vlog. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be sharing what you guys have been tingling with anticipation for, my World Cup predictions for Russia 2018. So I'm just going to be giving just a, a general overview. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video. I will do that in pro probably one or two videos uh, down the road before the tournament starts on June 14th. So here we go. I'm going to share my predictions. Doing something out of the box, a PowerPoint presentation. Here we go. Group A, we have the hosts Russia, we have Saudi Arabia, we have Egypt, and we have Uruguay. As far as what I think is going to happen in Group A, I think Uruguay will win the group rather easily, getting all nine points, winning all three of her games. I think the battle for second place is going to be between Russia and Egypt, but I think Russia is just going to have the edge and, as hosts, uh, manage to get that second spot and move on to the knockout stage. We have Group B. This is, in my opinion, the group of death in the World Cup. A very good group, four great teams. We have Portugal, who has arguably the best player in the world in Cristiano Ronaldo. We have Spain, another European Iberian Peninsula powerhouse. We have Morocco, which I believe did not yield a single goal um, or concede a single goal in African qualifying. And we had Iran, who I believe uh, topped Asian qualifying. So any one of these four teams I think is worthy of advancing, but overall when all is said and done, I think the European powerhouses will advance. I think Spain will win Group B and Portugal will be second. In Group C, we have France, one of the biggest favorites in the tournament. We have Australia, we have Peru, and we have Denmark. I think France will win Group C rather easily, getting all nine points by winning all three of our matches. I think Peru uh, is going to be second place. Um, a lot of you are going to disagree with me because a lot of people, I think, are pulling for Denmark to be second in Group C. But I think Denmark's actually going to come out pretty poorly and finish fourth in Group C. Again, this is just my opinion. They could do great, but I think they're going to be fourth in the group. So France and Peru from Group C. Group D, perhaps the second best group in the World Cup. I think this is very close to being as good as Group B. We have Argentina, one of the countries I root for. We have Iceland, we have Croatia, and we have Nigeria. Four very strong teams. What I think is going to happen, I think there's going to be a rock, paper, scissors situation in which Argentina loses to Croatia, Croatia loses to Nigeria, and Nigeria loses to Argentina, and all three of those teams beat Iceland. So we're going to have three teams going 2-1 and one, and one team going 0-3. And, and I think Argentina is going to uh, win the group when it comes to tiebreakers because of goal differential and because of goals four. And then Croatia also advancing. And I know, Victor, you're going to disagree with this and be very sad about this. But Nigeria, despite having a two-win, one-loss record, I do not think will advance. But we'll see. Group E, we have Brazil, one of the strongest uh, favorites in the tournament. We have Switzerland, we have Costa Rica, and we have Serbia. I think Brazil will win Group E, but not as easily as some people think. I think Costa Rica will play Brazil to a draw. So I think Brazil will still win Group E, but they'll have seven points instead of nine. They'll have two wins and one draw. We'll have Switzerland getting second place in Group E and also advancing to the elimination phase. We have Group F. The reigning champions, Germany, one of the countries I root for because I'm roughly a quarter German uh, from my mom's dad's side. Um, we have Mexico, we have Sweden, and we have South Korea. I think uh, Germany will win Group F rather easily, getting all nine points. And Mexico, just because of her uh, rich World Cup experience, just being so used to the tournament and the pressure, 
even though Sweden had an amazing qualifying campaign in Europe, beating Italy and the European tiebreakers, I think Mexico will also advance from Group F with Germany. Group G, we have Belgium, Panama, Tunisia, and England. Two teams definitely stand out as being much better than the other two in this group, Belgium and England, so I think Belgium and England will have little problems advancing out of Group G. Group H, we have Poland, Senegal, Colombia, and Japan. At first glance, I thought this was a very weak group, but after thinking about it a little bit, there's actually quite a bit of uh, con contention um, as far as these teams being able to make a run. I think this might be the third best group of all eight groups. Um, when the dust settles though, I think Colombia is going to win Group H, and I think Senegal is going to shock some people and be second in Group H, advancing to the knockout stages. So that sets us up for the round of 16. We have Uruguay winning Group A versus Portugal, runners up of Group B. We have France winning Group C versus Croatia, runners up of Group D. We have Brazil winning Group E versus Mexico, runners up of Group F. And we have Belgium, winners of Group G versus Senegal, runners up of Group H. On the right hand side of the bracket, we have Spain, winners of Group B versus Russia, runners up of Group A. We have Argentina, winners of Group D versus Peru, runners up of Group C. We have Germany, winners of Group F versus Switzerland, runners up of Group E. And we have Colombia, winners of Group H versus England, runners up in Group G. These are my predictions for the round of 16, which I will share in greater detail in a future video. So I think Uruguay is going to beat Portugal. I'd say France over Croatia, Brazil over Mexico, Belgium over Senegal. On the right, Spain over hosts Russia, Argentina over Peru, Germany over Switzerland, and England over Colombia. So that sets us up for my uh, picks for the quarterfinals. I think France is going to beat Uruguay. Brazil is going to beat Belgium. Sadly, although I don't want this to happen, I think Spain is just going to edge Argentina and I think Germany over England. So that sets us up for two epic semi-final clashes. France versus Brazil on the left-hand side of a bracket and Spain versus Germany on the right-hand side of a bracket. I think Brazil is just narrowly, narrowly going to beat France 3 to 2, and Germany, in revenge of a 2010 semifinal in South Africa, is going to beat Spain 1 to nothing. So, for third place, we'll have France and Spain playing. I think it's going to be tied after extra time 2 to 2, and in sudden death penalty kicks, Spain beating France 6 to 5. So, Spain will get third place in the tournament. The World Cup final, I've got Brazil versus Germany. My heart says Germany. I'd love to see them win and moreover to be uh, repeating champions, but my head says that Brazil is going to win this World Cup and be champions. I've got a breakdown of second stage team results and all the team results which I hope to share in future videos. I want to thank you again Victor for filming this video. Thank you everyone for watching. and. Uh, just to give you guys a preview of my next video, I plan to go to the Marshall Area YMCA, talk to some of the people who play in the Indoor Futsal League and conduct a survey of their opinions there. Really looking forward to that video. If I don't do a video or shoot one in the next week or two, I hope that you guys turn your clocks forward for daylight savings. I hope you guys eat some pie for pie day. I hope that you guys also wear green for St. Patrick's Day and also uh, um, do some uh, uh, shedding of your coats for the first day of spring. I hope you guys also get ready to celebrate Good Friday on March 30th and Easter on April 1st. Um, thank you very much. You guys can also uh, look at the link in my, the description below as to my uh, written blog and check that out. Thanks for watching. Take care.